In this video, I'll demonstrate the steps for performing a 6 degrees of freedom alignment between two Gokator laser line profilers using the Surface Align Y tool in GoPixel. For this demonstration, we use a so-called reversed white layout, where two sensors are arranged in a staggered manner, rotated 180 degrees from each other along the Z-axis. This kind of layout is often employed to address occlusion problems that may arise when scanning with just one sensor. The first thing we have to do is to add both sensors to the GoPixel instance. To do that, navigate to the Design tab, click Add New Sensor. A list appears with all the available sensors. Select the sensors you want to use, in this case these two sensors. Enable the group layout and click Add Sensor Group. By default the two sensors are set in white mode. Since we have a reversed white layout, the orientation of the body sensor has to be set as reversed. If needed, enable the exposure multiplexing. This setting ensures that interfering lasers are not triggered at the same time. Now press done. Then we have to set up the scan parameters of the sensors in order to scan the pyramid target. For this, navigate to the scan tab. The surface wide line tool requires non uniform space data. Position now the pyramid target on the sensors and check if the profiles are ok. These look fine. Set now the scan mode to surface and enable the multi sensor array output. This last setting is also a requirement for the surface align wide tool. Enable the intensity and set the fixed length slightly larger than the calibration target. Now we are ready to scan the pyramid target. Let's do. As you see, all the four pyramids are nicely visible in the scans of both sensors. Also the intensity looks ok. This scan is then used as input for the surface line Y tool. For this, navigate to the tools tab, add the surface line Y tool. In the tool, configure the number of sensors, in our case 2, then select the sensor model for each sensor. We have two 2520 sensors. And make sure both X and Y origin are zero. Then configure the target. In our case, we just have one column and four pyramids over the length direction. The plate width, approximately the field of view of the sensor. The plate length, the length of the target. The plate height, that's the height of the base. The top width, that's 5 millimeters, which is the length of the edge of the, on the top side of the pyramid. The length on the bottom side of the pyramid is 15. The pyramid height is 5 millimeters. The X distance doesn't really matter because we only have one column and the Y distance 25 which is the distance between two pyramids over length direction. Once we have set up the sensors and the target, we can enable the processing. Now in the system log, you'll notice that the alignment has been done successfully. And the file, the XML file with the Transformation settings of both sensors is stored on the C drive. 
The generated configuration XML is now used in the Surface Merge Y tool to merge the height maps of both sensors into one coordinate system. To do this, add the Surface Merge Y tool. Then load the configuration generated from the Surface Align Might. Then observe the 6 degree of freedom transformation settings of both sensors. You clearly see none of them is zero for sensor 1 and sensor 2. Now you can press enable processing. And the result is a height map of the pyramid target, generated from two unaligned height maps at merge into the same coordinate system. Now let's make a scan of an object on which we will have occlusion areas in the height maps of both sensors. Here we have the unaligned height maps of the two individual sensors where you clearly see the occlusion on one side of the pin for the main sensor and on the other side of the pin for the body sensor. Let's have a look to the merge data. This looks nice, no occlusion areas anymore. I hope you enjoyed this video.